Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Here at East Lawrence, we work hard to establish an effective, supportive, culturally relevant learning environment that fosters social, emotional, academic success. Today we're having chicken tenders with a roll, pizza, or a lunch bowl with scalloped potatoes, broccoli, and a salad. We'd like to wish a happy late birthday to Canicio Roseberry and a happy birthday to Nicholas Bastille. Hey, what's the joke of the day? What is blue and not very heavy? Light blue. Softball has an away game at Toombs County. Go Falcons! SkillsUSA is selling donuts now until September 9th. If you're interested in selling donuts, go to room 409 to see Ms. Strickland about forms. Sales will offset your dues and other activities like the fair and competitions. In club news, this year in FCA we are going to do a Friday morning devotion in the gym from 7.35 to 7.55. Hope anyone that would like to come will make it to the gym. All staff and students are welcome starting September 2nd. Student Council elections are just around the corner. We are still in need of junior and sophomore class representatives. If you are interested, please see Ms. Tammy Horn in room 113 for a nomination packet. Packets are due Thursday, August 25th. TSA is having its membership drive. Dues are $30 and you need to pay by September 15th if you want to be in the first wave of signups. See Mr. Woodard in room 404 for more details. If you are interested in joining the ELHS Tome Student Literacy Society, please see Ms. Brantley by Friday, August 26th. A love of reading is required. Just keep living. We are starting on September the 9th. After school, here, meet in the cafeteria. We'd like for everybody to come and join us. I've already mentioned it in our um, grade level meetings. We will focus on fitness, nutrition, community service, and gratitude and I'd love to see you there. Um, no cost to you, just bring yourself. Thank you. Today in club news, there will be a block party for all paid FFA members on August 31st from 3 to 5 in the room 4A. Students must be enrolled in an agriculture class first or second semester to qualify for FFA membership. Dues are $10. FFA members interested in attending Region Rally should see Ms. Sheffield for further information. The registration deadline is August 24th. Beta Club is having a spirit night September 13th from 4 to 8 p.m. It is mandatory you come if you're planning on attending convention. In club news, the cost to join FCCLA is $30. The deadline to pay dues is Friday, September 16th. The first local meeting is Thursday, September 1st. The, to attend local meetings, dues must be paid. Any student looking to join FCCLA may see the FCCLA advisor, Ms. Brazil, for more details. DQ Spirit Night is September 6th from 4 to 9 p.m. To join Skills, see Ms. Strickland, and for beta members, returning members can go ahead and pay dues. New members who are in 10th through 12th grade will receive an invitation. New members in 9th grade will receive an invitation after the first semester. Morning guys, it's your nurse, Miss Ellen, Miss Peters. This has been hanging in my office now since we started school and it was hanging in the, uh, my office back at the old school. This is a required booster that you have to get. It's called MCV4. It stands for meningitis and it, and it, um, it helps you fight against four types of meningitis. And it is required effective July 1st, 2021 that all 11th graders have to have this. And this year I'm going to be audited. So therefore, I had the office produce this form for me of all the 11th grade names. And as you see, only the people that are highlighted in, a let in yellow have had their shots. <laughs> and we have to get this done quickly because I'm going to get audited. So please get your parents to get you to a pediatrician or the health department and you get, need to get this vaccine. They may recommend, your doctor may recommend that you get another one called men, um, to fight meningitis B but that's because meningitis B does account for one third of all the cases of meningitis, which is a very serious disease that you can catch from kissing, drinking after somebody, it's close living quarters, i.e. living in a dorm in a college. 
So therefore, most colleges are going to require you to have this if you want to go to college. So just do me a favor, nag your parents to get you to the health department or the pediatrician and they'll know exactly what shot to give you. It'll make my life a whole lot easier. Have a great day. In teacher announcements, starting Tuesday you can purchase yearbooks and senior ads from Miss Brooks in room 112 during break. Yearbooks are $65 before Christmas. The price will increase to $70 after Christmas. The deadline to turn in senior ads is December 16th.